So guys, before we get into today's video, there is a giveaway down below in the description to give away a loot crate. It is a Gleam link. Make sure you use all entries so you can maximize your potential on winning. And yeah, guys, let's get into today's video. Hey guys, how's it going and welcome to Overzone. This is your host Sully and in today's video we are going to be breaking down how you can attack hybrid maps. So welcome to Numbani, a very, very nice map and can easily can be taken. It is pretty difficult in terms of how your opponent could be set up. But I'm going to show you how you could possibly break this down and break the attack and capture the point to get the payload very quickly. So right here, right now, we are coming to what seems to be your route decider. Now, if you say you take this route, then definitely, you're definitely wrong. You do not want to be going that route. It can be very difficult. You can go this route, but you'd need to be more of a dive comp style of a player because everything will have to be moving in quickly because if you get like stalled here, it's not going to go well for you. So I wouldn't recommend, unless you are doing dive comp, uh, do not take this route. Do not. The one you want to be taking is no more than the high ground up here on this route. All you got to do is just come up here. Maybe you might have your tanks in front and you could easily just not, not really easily break through because most um, heroes will set up here to block this choke. This is really the the only choke in the game this little corridor right here because like a lot of people say here is a choke but it's not really the main actual choke is the point itself you gotta capture and to be honest it's more of a boxing arena if you can picture it because usually the point you know it would come from there all the way around to over there and it is somewhat of like a wrestling arena if you get me this is where the brawl is going to happen this is where the fights are going to happen so definitely this is where you gotta this is where you gotta bring the action like up there you will have the people that will try to build some ult charge off you and then they'll drop down here usually to defend it but yeah if you picture this as a way of a boxing arena you have to like like obviously step into the arena get your kills but um also i just will discuss while we're here as well you can take this route as well it's just basically not taking the high ground or coming around here you can take it can be pretty nice if you have if you have them distracted at the front maybe you have one or two usually a bastion will be in the corner you can go in charge it take it out swing in get a few picks it is very nice but as i will say the choke is actually more of the point itself more than anything. So when you're on the street, you necessarily just want to stay with the payload. There's no other way really of getting through the street just with staying the payload. You got to stay with the payload. Maybe have your few people that can get up on top of the high ground very quick. Maybe you can get a few up there. That's definitely recommended. But usually you will not see a lot of people heavily contend. Maybe they'll heavily contend around here. Because usually a lot of defenses will set up here with the Reinhardt and the Reinhardt shield and people behind it. And they'll fire down top. You do the best they can. But you do have many flank routes. You can come around this way and you can come around this way. So it really kind of just up to you and how you organize your attack. But you will see a lot of people uh, try to defend the point here so you don't reach here. But usually you will see a lot of people not defend this massively, but more try and stall you and uh, hopefully stop the, uh, well, kind of take down the clock a small bit for themselves. So attacking this point, I will definitely say if you break this point, this little corner right here, you are usually in the driving seat to win because usually this is kind of like where the last stand happens you'll have your shield up here for the defense and they'll start trying to like stop you from getting around the corner stop you from getting around that way to come around over this way they'll usually try and stop you they'll have a few people maybe up on the high ground a few people in the in there with the health pack just to you know get some damage in but usually if you do break this point right here you will definitely win the game so a few routes you could take if you do manage to push them back a small bit as i usually do myself if, if, if you do kind of challenge me I will bounce off a back, back a bit so what I usually do is might post up here this is another good place as well posting up here because you have like little mini high grounds here with the with the pots here with the flowers it really is effective I definitely would try and, and try and use that you could even put a tourbillon turret in there it does camouflage really nicely but if they've kind of stepped back a small bit a good route today would be this route but yeah even though you would be seen by here if they are respawning you could also take this back route as well but you could also take this route as well not a lot of people check there and if you can get there and get up there without being noticed you potentially could get behind the enemies and take them out it really is effective but I will say again once you have broken this point here if you are attacking you could definitely see out the victory 
So welcome to Hollywood, another hybrid map. And this map is actually a very nice map if you use the surroundings very well to your advantage. So coming up here, this is the first choke point. You'll usually see a few people maybe up there if they're feeling slightly ambitious and want to get a few hits so they can build some ultimates. But you usually see a lot of people here defending on the corner of where the where the where the area is going to be so you see a lot of people here maybe with a shield and all that set up right here to defend and you usually have your few people to pick off maybe someone up there someone up on cafe definitely someone always up in cafe another one would be to kind of tuck around here in case someone tries to come away from the back so to attack this point i see a lot of people and this is only usually for people that have dive comp so you usually see a Winston hop up there and then you might have your Genji that goes up there as well, tries to take care of some people up there. Then usually you kind of see people come around the back, maybe even come up the stairs uh, up this way. You know, you usually have the stairs around this corner. A lot of people do like to take this route as well, that you come up from up here and you come up here and then you come down on top of the high ground, which is obviously a good advantage. I always say high ground is absolutely amazing. But um, yeah, you usually kind of go this in a dive comp style. You'd usually come up here, take your few picks, then go up there if you can, come from the high ground, rain down on top of them, and Bob's your uncle. For any of you guys that don't know, <laughs> I don't know why I just said Bob's your uncle. If anyone doesn't know, Bob's your uncle means basically simple as, you know, you've tucked the point, you have the, the upper advantage. Oh god, Irish slang. So you have captured the payload and you have to bring it over into the Wild West. And there is only one, one good proper way to actually win the advantage in this place. And this is no other than taking the high ground. Really taking the high ground at this point is the best thing you can do for the attacking team. Best thing you can do for the defensive team as well. The being, uh, defending is also amazing on the high ground. You'd see a lot of people maybe posting up here because you know you have the sight of everyone coming in here. And you could also have the sight of anyone coming over that way. So it really is a very good place to set up. You also would have your few people here as well just kind of jumping about the place. You usually have your few people down here that can't get up there as quick. So I would recommend if you are a quick uh, person to get up there, maybe like a Genji, a Hanzo, a Widow maker anyone that can get up there pretty quick definitely take the high ground so for attacking it there isn't really any other way of doing it you just literally take the high ground up you go and try and see if you can get some kills get some picks because any like basically just taking one pick puts your team at a great advantage you usually see a few tanks set up there so i definitely would uh try and uh try and pick them off it'd be very nice so you can get the payload going but usually you'd want to take the high ground in this. This is the only like way you have of getting some advantage because the high ground is obviously the like best thing to have in this game. You really do have an advantage taking it and you know you you basically get sight of everything. Right now we are in alien attack and this is the final final part and it is a very close kind of quartered area the really only open part is really where the payload goes but anywhere besides that is very close quartered so i would say this is a very reaper friendly map this is a brilliant map to use reaper on but if you can just literally quick dash up here if you have someone that can dash or climb this is a very nice place to go you come up here this is how i would attack it anyway if i was a hero that could do this and next thing you are literally behind enemy lines you could even come down here if you wanted to because usually you'd see a few supports or snipers along here so definitely is a good route to go but as i said it's very close quarter going up to it now you obviously have this route over here which i'm going to go over here so you could easily just uh one second i'll come over here so i can show you you can come over this way come in the side entrance there and you can come over this way up these steps and you could literally even go up that way as well that way leads up to where i showed you just there first but you can take this route here and it's a really nice route as well because not a lot of people usually set up here so you could potentially get here without being noticed and you know activate your ult come in and do some damage you obviously can go up the front but you'd necessarily need some tank cover if you are a tank then you give the cover very nice but if you are a uh, attacker like a genji you'd maybe need your tanks because a lot of fire would be coming down this route a lot of people do try to take this route so you'll need some cover but it's it's really amazing you have so many routes to attack from you've that route there you have this route there and you have this route here so very nice selection very nice map to take and uh, it is considerably easy if you take the routes nicely and smartly Right guys, welcome to Eichenveld. This is a very nice map, and a very nice map if you're a hero that can fly. This is a pretty easy choke to break. It is so simple. Let's just say you have your few heroes here like a Reinhardt that are trying to fight off. You'll usually see, I'm just going to talk about maybe the defensive setup to understand why you would take the flying method. So usually you'd have your few people set up here like a Bastion, Reinhardt, and you know your Symmetra turrets right there. And it causes a lot of trouble and it's quite hard 
to break through this choke. This is a really small choke to break. A lot of people I see try to take that way, and it's not really nice because you usually you just get bo bottlenecked. Doesn't say bottlenecked. You get bottlenecked in here, and it's not very nice. So I definitely would not recommend taking that point or this way at all. I don't know why I said that point. This way or this way because it can be very hard to like get all of you through without taking necessarily a lot of like damage and obviously charging their ults. Ults, ults, I can't actually speak today. But anyway, what you can do is you can be a Farah and hop over the ruse. This is an amazing route to take. It's like they don't, like they may notice you, but by the time they notice you, they'll all start to kind of come back. You can kind of tuck yourself over here, stand on the corner behind the payload, so they have to move to come back and get you. It is a very nice thing to do, and I would recommend it. Now, there's also a second route as well I'm going to show you over this way as well, and this route is even better because but they don't actually get to see you and a lot of people don't actually know about this and they really should learn this route as well they cannot see you you could literally just come over here over this house and you're behind them you can rain on top of them. imagine you ult you'd ultimate and you came down behind them game over that is amazing because like their spawn is all the way back that way it is a long distance and you having the ult getting on the point and all your team getting on the point will take the point straight away. But let's just say you do not have a Farah and you are playing the aggressive game, then you will need, you will definitely need to be aggressive. And you are not going to usually kind of go aggressive and like walk towards them. You're going to have to be aggressive and kind of take this side route because you kind of want to take less damage and also like keep all your team alive. So I would recommend maybe coming up this way, coming up this way, maybe even come down this way. I wouldn't usually kind of recommend it though, but you can, it depends really on what your team is doing. You can come this way as well, but usually you will see a lot of people using a Farah on this map because it's just, it's so effective and I definitely would recommend it. And uh, it definitely is a beautiful, beautiful way. So you've captured the payload and you have brought it this far. Now the next battle will take place up here. You'll see a lot of people on defense hosting, holding, hosting, holding up here. And you also have a few people up here as well, maybe like a bastion or something trying to rain down top. You get your little bit of ult charge. You might have a few people over here, like a widow trying to cap you off. A very nice place for a widow to, st uh, to set up on. But usually you kind of see them kind of backing away once you get here because they kind of need to set back up here. Now this is where the next choke is because this little bridge, <laughs> this little bridge right here is where they'll try and set up to defend. But you can have so many ways of breaking this, guys. There are so many routes. And, like, this map is probably one of the easiest... Um, well, this point, shall I say, is one of the easiest ways, like, maps to break. And I'll show you why. So you've got this route under here, which takes you literally just underground for a little bit. Underground over here. A lot of people do not check this route. And you literally, right behind them, you can rain on top of them, whatever you want to do. Obviously, if you're a Farah, you'll be in the air. And it is very nice. Now, another route as well is no other over this way. It's so simple. Like, there's so many routes. But you usually see, you now this one being watched a lot because a lot of people will take this. And basically, you kind of come over a small bit to the right of them. And you can rain on top of them as well. As I, as I say, again, and very nice. You also have the high route as well. If you want to come up here, you can just, like, peer in, peer out, take your, like, hits. Obviously, as I said, if you're Far, you're going to be in the sky, but I'm just taking examples for like a free soldier players or anyone that plays Junkrat. You can spam, you can just really knock into them. It really is nice and nice and effective. These are the routes I would take, but uh, let's move on to the next point. Welcome to King's Row, the final map we're going to be showing on this how to break the hybrid chokes. Now, this one is so so simple and I'm actually going to change character to show you how simple this is. Now this map is defended, I've seen this map defended in so many horrendous ways that you could take so much advantage. So this is a very nice map for Winston and I'm going to show you this why. So I've seen, oh God, it's even happened to me as well and I feel so sorry. I don't really know why I feel so sorry but a lot of people tend to set up here and this is a no-go area. If you are defending this map, never, ever, please, never defend here. You're just so asking for a death. This, like, their spawn is right there. You're gonna be taking too much damage for you to be to be healing as well. So you gotta think about it. You gotta go somewhere where you aren't gonna be taking damage 24/7. So if you are on the attacking side and you see all the enemies there, just you know, trying to hold it here, you all you gotta do get a Winston bounce over and next thing you are on the point they're all turning around they have to come back then what your team could do is hose down on top of them this is what i'm saying 
it is such a nice way to take advantage. I want to point this out first because it's happened to me many times where I've seen most of the enemy team, or most of my team, should I say, setting up there when I'm going on solo uh, competitive, and I'd be back here with a Zen or something, trying to keep them alive, and it's impossible. The Winston will always come over, will always rinse me, because I cannot do anything. So if you do see uh, the enemy team kind of setting up here, Winston it over, and you should be good to go. But right, we are attacking this, and they're attacking it the right way, okay? So they're all the way over there. They're kind of like setting up on the point, you know, nice little setup with your two tanks, your two DPS, and your and your two supports, so it can be pretty uh, difficult to attack. Now, a nice way I usually like to play this as well is if you have a Zarya. What I usually like to get the Zarya to do is to bubble me when I jump over, so I have my little bit of protection and she gets her little bit of a charge, and then once I'm in mid-air, I try and signal everybody to once, like I'm halfway, to kind of start going in and charging, because everyone, once I pop down my bubble, I have my little bit of security and I can start picking them off, and they can also go and start working on people that I'm trying to kill as well, so it, it necessarily is a nice way to attack it, but if you're not not that confident yet I can give you a sort of a route you can take as well now I usually wouldn't recommend it so it kind of is up to you our good friend Zen right there but anyway we're gonna come up this way and a lot of people do not like to take this way but I actually don't I think it's actually okay and you can't come over this way come over this way up the stairs you go and you can set up up here it is it's not the greatest place I wouldn't recommend it you could put down a shield up here get your supports get your DPS to put in a little bit of damage in here then you can move back you can maybe try and plan a dive it really kind of matters what style you're up for but the usual main attack you'd like to see in this map is say if you have a Ryan shield right here and you kind of come around here trying to block as much damage as you can so your shield can still remain up and then what we want to do is pounce on top of them and then just literally rain right on them it's usually the best way to do it maybe get a few people up onto the high ground definitely would help but that is definitely the routes you want to be taking in terms of attacking king's row point a so you have attacked point a and you have successfully taken it now let's have a look at a few routes and a few ways you can attack the streets so route number one is no other than going with the payload and kind of just you know straight through there's no other way just gonna go along with the payload and fight along with it but there are a few ways you can go i usually see a lot of okay fail jump right there <laughs> so usually you see a lot of people come up here onto the high ground maybe like a junk rat that can spam their bombs down a widowmaker a hanzo if you're pretty accurate but I usually see a lot of junk rats come up here and kind of rain down top of them. Very nice way to do it, but I've obviously got my own way and my own route that I love to take, and this is no other than coming from behind. This route right here coming in from hotel, coming through the back alleys, is a fantastic route. Now, you can be sighted, obviously, because if you have uh, some enemies right there, they can see you, but if you're lucky enough, you could potentially come up here and be behind them without them even noticing, and as you know, look, as you can see, right on my screen, I'm nearly towards Primal. And getting a few kills, you would generally have Primal at this stage. And it, you can use it, but you can keep it if you want to. But say if you were struggling and you needed to break this point, then you could just jump down, activate Primal, and kind of start knocking them back. Maybe get a few kills, get your DPS to kind of go along with you and target the people you're hitting. And you know, next thing you know, you are at here and your point is taken and you should be hitting this checkpoint and then you should be into the final stage. So welcome to final point, this is where it's make or break. What I mean by make or break is it's either gonna go really well for you or it's gonna go horribly wrong. So if I was to attack this, I would usually like to maybe get someone up there on the high ground up there, usually a nice place to cap off a few people that try and come around here or even up there. But how I would attack this is really no other. I do not like taking that route. That route in there, I do not like taking for some reason. I just don't, I uh, I don't know. It's just too confined as a Winston player because I usually like to play Winston on this. Uh, it's a very Winston style map and I really do love it. But I usually maybe have the DPS go in there or something, but I generally would not advise if you are a Winston or a tank. I wouldn't like to go in there. It's very close quartered and you know, it just, I wouldn't recommend it. So how I'd like to play this is actually just jump up high and then just jump down that was a little bit of a fail right there but i'd usually have uh myself to kind of just jump up high and kind of just shake them off a little bit you know kind of make them feel unsettled make them drop back a little bit more because if you can break this bend it's really kind of game over for them because they're all going to be gathered around this point and they can't really do nothing there is no places to hide while we have all the advantage we have the high ground up there we can use we have the high ground up there 
we could also have the back route here as well. So if I was to attack this and I was looking at different ways, you can obviously just do the whole um, bubble thing. This is what I would do as a Winston because Winston is more of an aerial person. I really like Winston for that ability. He can control a lot of areas. But if you were someone that was like a flanker or a DPS, what I'd usually like to do is come this way and then you can come up here and then you literally if you turn this bend right here you are literally behind enemy lines if you see a few people come down here and they don't even notice it you can just drop on and you can just come down and start raining on top of them another route is actually this route up here now i'm not going to take that route because i know i'm going to die and i'm going to end up spawning all the way back at the other side of the map but you can come up here and you can potentially rain on top of them if you're a genji usually a lot of people would see up here because they can just drop down and activate their ult and come down and start raining on top of them so if you can manage to break this bend up here it's potentially game over for defense they'll be on a massive struggle and yeah you potentially have won the game so guys that's it for today hopefully you have enjoyed it if you have make sure to let me know down below and if you need any more tips and tricks on heroes maps or anything let me know down below i'm pretty sure we'd all love to help you out hope you had an awesome day and we shall see you for the next one Bye bye